Hello, YouTubers out there. This is the Boob Wasteland Show with your host, Jerry Saravia. And so today I'm going to briefly talk about a show on True TV, which I'm sure many of you may or may not have heard of, and it's called Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura. Now, uh, this series uh, premiered on December 2nd, 2009. We've had thus far three seasons. Third season is still uh, an ongoing season. Um, Jesse Ventura, for those who don't know, is the former Minnesota governor and uh, professional wrestler, actor, also worked for the Navy. And he believes in conspiracy theories in general, mostly involving global warming, 9-11, uh, secret societies, government surveillance, um, and so on. Uh, in this third season, Jesse Ventura, I, I saw one episode out of this uh, third season. I've seen many, or most of the episodes from the first two seasons. And one episode in particular uh, had Ventura's son, Tyrell Ventura, and Sean Stone, who is the son of director Oliver Stone, as part of the investigative uh, team. Apparently this is really most of season three. Uh, one episode in particular that I did see from this new season thus far, I haven't seen uh, a lot of them. But the one in particular that uh, debuted on November 26 of 2012 was, was called uh, Ozarks. And this is in reference to Ozark, Missouri, where apparently um, fortified retreats are being built and underground bunkers in remote areas of this uh, area uh, of Missouri in preparation for a doomsday event. And uh, there is the construction of an, an alleged 75,000 square foot single family fortified mansion owned by a satellite surveillance mogul and government defense contractor. And Ventura gets uh, wind of this and checks it out. And it is massive. I mean, 75,000 square feet is massive. And uh, Ventura checks it out along with his team, uh, including a local informant to this massive underground warehouse facility, complete with railroad, uh, railroad access that is located in nearby Springfield, Missouri. Now, I can imagine a lot of people would probably say conspiracy theory of Jesse's Ventura is going to be a bit of a joke, those who have never seen the show before. Um, you know, that I'm not going to watch this sort of thing. Now, it's not just conspiracy theories either, technically. Um, aside from the 9-11 attacks, he's also explored what happened with the Wall Street crisis of, uh, um, uh, of late uh, 2008. And uh, the mortgage crisis and all this other stuff. And, I mean, uh, the show technically is a bit, um, I guess you could say, ham-fisted. Not really subtle. Uh, this guy... Jesse Ventura, Governor Ventura, insists, you know, I'm a governor, you're not going to mess with me. I'm also a former wrestler, and, uh, you know, I, I guess you could say he's got more to say and has more, um, <clears throat> how can I put this in a polite way? Let's just say he's got more to say than somebody like Hulk Hogan. You know, I, I never really pictured Jesse Ventura as just, oh, that's the guy from Predator. Uh, anyway, um, he does explore a lot of things. Now, the Ozarks episode in particular, though, was fascinating because this underground warehouse facility, they actually managed to drive through, and it's one parking lot after another. It goes on in succession forever. It's like going, like that, the song by the Who they could see for miles, miles, and miles. I mean, it is an insane thing to see, uh, which goes to show that this show is not really... BS. I mean, when they find something, uh, if they get close enough to it, uh, particularly an episode from, I think, season two about the FEMA camps, it looks real enough uh, that one can't really dispute it. Um, this episode in particular uh, was fascinating. The only thing is, um, like any show, of course, it's all edited. And Sean Stone, Oliver Stone's son, um, goes uh, around asking locals about uh, Missouri and this facility and finds caves and hears people talking inside these caves, you know, because it's all underground in this whole area. And he 
discovers that, of course, maybe the Luminani are behind this, and that Ozarks stands for Ark of Oz. Uh, once you, you know, decipher the uh, clues and just the name itself. Um, I enjoy the show. It's entertaining. Uh, I'm not sure I believe everything that's in the show. Uh, this season looks to be even more over the top than usual, but who knows? Um, apparently there's an episode about uh, shape-shifting lizard beings. I think that's going a little too far, uh, frankly, but hey, it makes for a show, so uh, it's not that Jesse Ventura always believes everything that he's told. Uh, I do remember now, thinking back, an episode about a super soldier that certainly caught me off guard. I think there may be truth to that, uh, the Manchurian Candidate idea, where uh, a person is selected randomly and uh, somehow, with mind control, can become a soldier and start killing people. And then with whatever sort of code is used to uh, bring that person back to their normal existence, they have no idea what they have just done. Um, so you know, there's also another episode, I think, this season about a ray that may have been used to disintegrate and collapse the World Trade Center towers. Uh, you know, I don't know about that. Time travel, again, I'm a little iffy on that one um, in general, and uh, so I'm not always sure I believe it, but it'd be interesting to see. But um, past episodes have been fascinating. Uh, oh, what I was saying about being edited, I'm sorry, I lost track there, is that uh, Sean Stone on occasion, uh, when they're waiting for Sean Stone, you know, just as they're done investigating or talking to somebody else in this town of Ozarks, Sean Stone comes running in from over, you know, exasperated and, you know, it seemed a little false and phony. But uh, nonetheless, um, the other episodes they, they did have, uh, season one in particular, was Ventura Visits Harp High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program in Gakona, Alaska and uh, whether there are rumors that it's being used as a wet weather modification weapon, uh, an instrument for mind control or so on. Um, black box recordings from 9-11 attacks were interesting. Uh, if you think about it, black box recordings were never really made available to the public, aside from, uh, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, the Flight 93, in Jersey, only because I heard of the story in uh, Plainsboro, New Jersey, that a black box recording was available for uh, and to be listened to by uh, the victims' families. But uh, there are some aspects of 9 11 that uh, are, to say nothing of uh, less than interesting. Um, The one that, that I didn't care for was back in the first season that global warming is an elitist scam. Uh, you know, no, I don't think so. Uh, I think it's it's a very real thing. We need to call it what it is, which is climate change. Uh, but anyway, by and large, the Builder uh, the Bilderberg Group, very secretive meeting of elitist, elitists, and I guess you could say Illuminati, um, which I do believe exists, um, Anyway, Area 51, that was also an interesting uh, episode. Uh, Police State, which uh, where Conspiracy Talk Radio host Alec Jones had shown up. It was a blustering, um, <laughs> full of hot air type of individual, if you've ever seen his uh, radio show. Um, martial law is al always a concern, I think, for some people. And uh, it's not to say it wouldn't happen again. Anyway. Um, he also covers the JFK assassination in past episodes, so uh, it's not a bad show. It's an original series um, in many ways. It's not like we have too many of these type of shows, really. I mean, you, you see them sort of on biography and other channels, but this is one where Jesse Venture is not somebody that will be put down by those who feel, you know, he is uh, lurking in waters where he shouldn't be, because he is... Uh, a former governor, and he looks threatening. He's not Michael Moore, you know. Nobody's going to mess with him. I think that's kind of what uh, brings that show to life. It's a little too frantically cut 
at times to show, um, you know, where a lot of things nowadays are, I guess. I, I would prefer, prefer less millisecond cuts, if you like. Uh, but it, it's it's not a bad show, and uh, interesting that he brought Sean Stone on board, who, by the way, if you've read about him or uh, know he's also a filmmaker, and once Obama impeached, he's been a regular guest on uh, Alex Jones' show. Um, he might be more of an extremist than his own father, which is saying a lot. But anyway, check out uh, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura, and uh, this show is on True TV, and uh, it's watched by more than enough people, uh, 1.6 million viewers. Check it out. Um, so, yeah, take a look. You may not believe everything you see, but hey, well, you know, you may not believe most of what you hear in the news, let alone what it is Jesse Ventura uncovers. But what he uncovers are political situations and... Uh, other conspiracy theories that uh, are often left in the dark and not explored and uh, he's able to get a pass in many uh, uh, in a lot of situations and uh, really examine it so do check it out and until then I'm Jerry Sedevia with your host uh, I'm your host Jerry Sedevia sorry a little tired today uh, as your host for the Boob Wasteland Show signing off